Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video about a contour line that didn't work, and I stated in that video that um, this black engravable line might not look good on the outside of this giraffe. He's, he's using the red hairline to put a piece of wood in that was made by a CNC router. If ever, in a perfect world, that'd be really cool to engrave on that edge, but you're going to miss some of it. My suggestion on how to do that Let's see our nudge factor is still set on seven. Let's take the, um, well, let's take it, tell you what, let's do this first. Let's go to object and, well, evidently it's broken apart and let's nudge it over. Let's nudge the eye, the um, nostril, the ear hole, and there's actually a little bitty part of this that we can nudge over that's gonna give a little detail to the head. So there's those parts. Now to get these blotches, what I would do, and this is just a suggestion, I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool and I'm gonna fill in that. So we've got some major leaks in this part. So once the leaks are fixed, it'll work pretty well. Um, I initially don't see any leaks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this line into a hairline and it'll show up, a leak will show up a little better. And that's probably what it is. These lines aren't joined. Let's turn them everything into a hairline. So that's probably the leak right there. Um, and that should work. But in this case, we could actually bring it past because we're only gonna use the outside anyway. So let's take the Smart Fill tool and now fill in this patch and it worked. Now I'm gonna left click and move it over. Yeah, that one leaks too. Yeah, all of them are gonna leak. So you would just have to fix that. What it is, these lines aren't connected. We could do it all at one time. Hold down the shift key, select all these lines and turn them into a, and also you're not using RGB or I don't really know if that's the case because sometimes I don't know when I get a file from somebody, if the colors come through. But since we're not using these lines um, per se, we can actually extend them through and this will make it quite a bit better. Let's go ahead and do all the ones we did real quick. So we can go even further uh, than we did. And then let's just take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in and nudge it over, fill that in, fill that in, nudge it over. Now, you could engrave that and it would be a cool idea, but if you just want this line, we can grab all these, hold down the Shift key, grab them all, left click, right click, and go back to the contour tool. And we'll contour, we'll have to do them one at a time, unless you wanna group them together more. Or this time we're gonna to go to the inside. And just go to the inside. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about in just a second. Now, take the Smart Fill tool and fill in these. Let's nudge them over, 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 over. So that's what I'm talking about. Now the lines are gonna be well in that line. So now we can take that one and left click, right click, nudge it over. 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 I didn't break the contour apart. That would have helped. So let's, uh, I think we'll be able to select them all. I don't know why that started using that one. Break the 12 apart and then just move the outside lines out of the way. And then we need to make sure we go back and turn these lines, turn these lines into, so we got several outlines, but we're gonna make it black. And I think he had it at one point in black. Hit okay. Now, so here's the difference. Let's get rid of this. Instead of having that black line, we'll tell you what, we could just nudge the contour over. So now you're gonna have a black line that is well inside that contour line. So it's gonna be definitely on the pieces. I personally think you could fill these in and make add a little detail. Because if you're gonna engrave this, 
it's not gonna take any longer to engrave it like this than just the line, because the laser is still gonna to have to go across there and engrave those lines. This would be a great example to uh, vector cut, the vector engrave these lines, because it would work a little faster. And I've got several videos on there, but just for the one I'm doing it for, uh, that's still all grouped together. So you have this, you have your piece in here, you have it cut out. We we'll just go to object group and ungroup. And there's several ways you can, one, you could take that away, you don't need any more. And then you could take these and turn them into a hairline. And also an RGB hairline. Somehow you have them on a grayscale, but that, like I said, that might not be the case. And so now we got a black hairline and run this. You know, if you're cutting that out of half inch pieces of wood, uh, you could vector engrave this in like two seconds versus about five seconds or uh, 30 minutes to a, or 30 minutes, half a minute to a minute to engrave this. And if you want the lines a little thicker, just raise your focus up. Because that's all you're going to be doing. After you cut out all your pieces, to lay your pieces in there, you could vector engrave this. And I have another, I have several videos on how to do that. Just raise your focus up a little bit and it's going to zip through. You could run this at 100 power and, you know, 50 speed and it's going to cut a really good line. And if you take it out of focus, like an eighth of a quarter inch up to the top, it's going to make a thicker line, a wider line because the beam's going to get wider. Especially on these two animals, that would vector engrave ultra quick. And going back to what I said about since the other animals don't have it, it might look better if it was just the box. But this, you could you could vector engrave this. Oh, like in, I bet you in 10 seconds versus, you know, that might take on that animal, that might take, you know, two minutes to engrave that. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.